Hello friends, I once again welcome all of you to this series on Biodata, CV and Resume Writing, a format for the fresh graduates. Up to now we have covered aspects related to difference between Biodata, CV and Resume. We have also discussed the types of Resume and we have also shared some important things how to write a good resume and then a format of a resume and today we will be talking in details about certain tips which can become very handy for the students who want to write the resume. Some of these tips have already been covered in the previous uh, sessions but I would like to highlight all, all of them together here so that we remember them while we are writing the resume. First of all, think ahead. It is a very common thing with the students that they will like to do everything at the last moment. Uh, let us say if you are having an organization or any company coming to your campus and they are asking for your resume, the students are busy writing the resume in the night and so that they can submit it in the morning. That is not a very good idea. Always think ahead of the time. You should be ready with the resume much before your uh, this employment or the job uh, drive is going to start in the campus. So think so that you have enough time to think about the things which you want to include or you want to exclude from the resume and then you can keep on editing and then because it is your first communication to the potential employer, a small mistake here and there, a small skill missed out from the skill set required by the organization can be very very fatal. It loses its purpose. The resume will lose its purpose. Tailor your resume as I mentioned earlier also in the previous sessions. Tailor your resume as per the skill set desired or required by the organization. Tailor it. It, is, it doesn't have to be ready made. A ready made suit has been made. Anybody can wear it. No. It has to be as per the requirements of the particular organization or a potential employer. Then chunk it out. Uh, if you write in an essay form, many times I find the students write a two paragraphs, three paragraphs. It is very difficult for the person who is screening the screen, uh, resume to get a particular information. Many times it happens that uh, the person who is reviewing or who is screening the resumes, resume uh, they are, they, they are looking for particular words which will which are required. I mean those words are, are the action verbs which are required, which reflect your skill set and then they are looking for those words and if you are not able to chunk your resume out very well, they will find it very hard. They will outrightly reject it. Uh, so uh, use the bullets or numbering and break your resume into particular uh, in a particular headings give particular headings and then under those headings use the numbering and the bullet points so that's very easy and convenient for the people who are reading your resume use action verbs focus on the things you have accomplished and avoid starting every sentence with i i have mentioned it already uh, it should be always in the third form your every sentence, your every accomplishment should start with a action verb. Organized, analyzed, designed. I have designed is redundant. Eliminate I. But what is more important is the action which you have done. I have, I have done so and so is not required. What action you have done that is important. So focus on the action verbs then make it presentable. Make uh, the resume should look like uh, a very neat page and very very limited and concise information should be given on that A4 size sheet which is uh, about uh, 21 centimeter by 29.7 centimeter and the font size should be such not less than uh, 12 point. Uh, many times students want to accommodate more information in the resume since the limitation of one page is there. So they want to uh, use a font 
which of a lesser size, uh, which which the person will find it very difficult to read. So always use 12 or maybe 13 or 14 size font. 14 is good for the headings, but normally 13 or 12 size font is good enough. And try to use some standard, uh, you know, fonts also. For example, Time, Romans and Arial. Uh, there are certain fonts which are very, very uh, artistic in nature, but not very legible. So your purpose is that person who is reading the resume should be able to read it. Make it very simple and uh, good fonts, fonts and font size. Then keep it very concise. Try to keep your resume as short as possible, ideally one page. At most, it can, it, it can go on to second page, but then uh, not more than one fourth of the second page. And there should be sufficient space which is uh, left blank in your resume for the comments of the person who is screening the resume. Uh, be honest. This is very important that be very, very honest. You may feel that, you know, if I write something here, how can they verify whether I have written or somehow or the other, I will get into the interview. I will get in the second round of the selection process. No, uh, for everything which you write, you have to develop a evidence for that. You have to produce rather uh, an evidence for that, that I have, I am claiming that I am a good, I am good in analytical skills. So what you have done, which proves that you are good in analytical skills or let us say drawing skills or let us say any other skill which you are giving mentioning in the resume. A lying uh, resume, even if you get, if you are lying there, uh, somehow you get into the interview. Uh, the persons who are interviewing you always get a copy of the resume which you have submitted earlier. So you will be get caught and you are going to be rejected in the second stage itself also. Uh, be very professional. Remember that this is a business document. So do not include unnecessarily embellishments like flashy paper or your picture on the uh, resume. No pictures, not very, very colored. Sometimes people use colored, colored page, page, which is not required. So that is a professional document. It should look like a professional document. Know the purpose of your resume. There is only one and one purpose of your resume to get the interview call. And if you have done good, you will actually, uh, you know, land in, land into an interview room. And if your resume is really well, well written, the interview will land you to the job, hopefully. Uh, you know, you direct the interviewers through your resume, what kind of questions they can ask. And then you, uh, you know, your resume should direct the uh, interviews to prompt them, ask questions where you are more comfortable. So you can actually conduct your own interview through the resume itself. And then uh, back up your qualities and strength with the evidence. I have uh, sufficiently elaborated on this point already. So I'll back up your qualities and strengths with the evidence. Make sure to use the right keywords. Always try to do a lot of research on two things. Number one, the organization where you're applying. Number two, take a inward journey on your own skills right from day one when you enter the school to the pass out from the college. And then try to match these two together. Make sure that you use the right keywords. Uh, certain organizations are looking for certain keywords. Go through the websites or information brochures of the organizations and try to extract the keywords from there, uh, which they are looking for in their employers and include those keywords in your resume. If you are submitting a soft copy, many times the machines are scanning your resume. Instead of a person scanning your resume, the machine. And the machine is trained, the programmed in a way that if they find this kind of keywords, only those resumes are selected. So very important is keywords. Then use effective titles. For example, uh, a bad title can be accounting. I have a skill how to do the accounting. This is a very bad title. The good title can be the same thing, can be written as management of accounts and record keeping. So there's a difference between the two titles, uh, accounting and management of accounts and record keeping. So be very, very careful. I would say that 
try to take help from somebody who is really very good in placements or somebody who is really very good in the language skills. Get your resume vetted through them and, and keep on editing it, keep on editing it. Use bullet points, we have discussed about that. Put the most important information first. If you have 10 accomplishment, 5 accomplishment, the most important relevant to the industry should be put first and then the least important and in the order. Maybe you feel that this particular accomplishment is very good, but then according to the requirement of the industry, it may not be very important. So prioritize your accomplishment as per the requirements of the industry. Then proofread. Let there be no punctuation, preposition, grammatic, vocabulary, uh, the spelling errors. You know, that there be no typographical error in your document. Only very few words, maybe, uh, you know, 150 or 100 words are there. Proofread it very well. Get it proofread from some expert in the language. Sometimes you are not able to find your own mistake when you are proofreading it yourself. Then achievements instead of responsibilities. Achievements. What was the end thing which you were able to achieve as the outcome of a particular activity? That should be reflected in your resume instead of I was, uh, I was given a responsibility of so and so thing. Highlight your achievement. No hobbies. Uh, you may add one or two hobbies which are supporting your skill set required by the industry. For example, I am very much keen in making models, certain models, certain prototypes, and I am applying for a job in, as an aeronautical engineer. So this hobby can be included in the resume because there uh, it is supporting my main skill set required by my uh, potential employer. Use a good printer, preferably uh, you can use a laser printer or inkjet printer, uh, do not use, uh, you know, uh, 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 second rate printers with a good ink, should be bold, use action verbs I told you, conducted, coordinated, organized, analyzed, evaluated, designed, facilitated, guided, simulated, taught, these are some of the suggestive uh, action verbs, but there are plenty of them depending on the requirement of the industry, use action verbs then you are highlighting your accomplishment or your achievements. Uh, let me, my dear friends, conclude by saying that a great deal of success in shaping your career depends not just on the interview, but in making sure that you get that interview. We keep on preparing for the interview, but we may not get the interview call. For that to happen, your resume writing is very important. A resume is a self advertisement that showcases how your skills, your experience, your talents, your achievements and accomplishments match the requirements of the person to whom you are applying for the job. The better you write your resume, the more likely it is that you will be called for a personal interview. Thank you very much my dear friends. God be with you always. All the very best in your lives. Thank you so much.